In the previous section, we talked about how to uh, import from Word or, or your favorite word processor a series of uh, question items and how to format it so that each uh, stem has its own line, each distractor begins with a letter, period, space, and that the answer is displayed on the very last line, answer, colon, space, and then the, uh, the letter that's correct. I then put an empty line following that, and then the same thing, empty line, same thing. What I'm going to do now is save this, so whether this is Word or um, WordPad or, um, in this case, Mac uh, Text Edit, I'm just going to do a file, Save As, and I'm going to make sure that I save it as a text file with um, a, a um, file name that I can find, so in this case, test, and it's uh, saying if no extension providing use text, that'll usually be the default, so I'll hit save. Now, I'm going to go back to, uh, to Moodle, and I'm actually going to go back to the main page here, and instead of um, adding a question, I'll go back to my uh, questions section, so under my administration tool panel, I'm going to click on questions. And instead of creating a new question like I did before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Import. Now the file format for what we just created with that uh, um, text file that looks the way it does is known as an Aiken format. So I'm going to just click on that this is an Aiken format uh, test that I'd like to import. Um, if you've created categories, I haven't created categories here. Um, but if you've created categories, I could uh, choose a category. And then it says import file upload. I'm just going to click the browse button here and I'm going to find that same uh, uh, text file that I just created. So test text and I'm going to choose that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click upload this file. And at this point, that text file now gets pulled into uh, Moodle and you can see that the three questions that I created the Moodle question bank supports a variety of question formats which of the following is a color and what's a good time for dinner um, all of all come in and it says that it's coming in correctly so now if I go continue you'll see that there are three questions that I can actually use now in um, Moodle quizzes throughout the site if I'd like to just take a snapshot and see what one of them looks like, I just need to click the uh, magnifying glass for a preview. And it will open up and you can see that now in an interactive format, I have that question. So the Moodle question bank supports a very variety of question formats. One uh, format that Moodle does not support is. I can click the, uh, the correct choice and I can hit submit and you can see it's even scrambled the questions for me um, so that uh, in the original interpretive dance was in D it's given to me in B so it makes it more difficult for students to remember uh, patterns so I can now hit submit and it would tell me that it's correct So now I have some questions that I can choose for a Moodle quiz. So the next part of this is to now go into our course again and we need to create a quiz object. And to do that, it's the same way I'd create most objects in Moodle. I create, use the churn editing on. I choose a location within the, um, the Moodle that I'd like to place it and I choose add an activity. So in uh, topic two, I'm going to add an activity that's a quiz. And as with most things, I just gave it a name and description. Set parameters like timing and um, when it's display, how many attempts students are allowed to do. In this case, I'll just say uh, unlimited. And uh, for the most part, I'll just leave this as, um, as the default settings. And I just have to hit save and display. At this point, there are no questions on the quiz, but I can add them simply by clicking this little left arrow that says Add to Quiz. So I'll add that one to the quiz, I'll add that one to the quiz, and I'll add that one to the quiz. And now my quiz is ready to go for students to, uh, to enter it.